This is a video on how to set up child specification lists within DriveWorks Pro. The child specification list displays a list from which other projects can be specified and grouped together into one top level or parent project. This may be useful if you would like to sell extra or additional products on top of a main product that you sell. The child specification works in the same way as item lists, except that instead of launching a single form for each row in the list, a complete separate DriveWorks project is launched. These child projects are complete projects in their own right, with form navigation, documents, and model rules within each. When the child specification is completed, you will be directed back into the parent project. Data is then passed into the constants of the child specification, and then passed back up from the variables of the child specification into the list. Child specification controls have a dynamic property that launches a configuration form where the links from the top level and each child specification is configured. Each child specification control can have more than one child project linked to it. Now let's go into the DriveWorks Administrator and create a child specification. With DriveWorks Pro Administrator open and a group and project already open, click onto the More button located on the DriveWorks Pro Administrator command bar. Select a child specification list from the list of controls and click on OK. Give the new control a name of your choice and select OK. Reposition the child specification form where you would like it on your form. With the form control selected, go to the projects property within the projects list and click onto the rules builder button, which will open up child specifications list editor. You're asked to refresh the data as the information selected may be out of date. Click on this link to refresh the data on each project name that you have within the project list. The child specification list editor allows you to set up the projects that can be specified from the child specification control. Select the projects that you would like to be listed in the child specification control and therefore would like to be available as a child specification by putting a check next to each name. Within the box to the right, there is a list of constants that have been set up. For each project, you will need to build in rules that will be driven into the child specifications constants. For example, I want the city return form control to be driven into the city constant. I want the contact name return form control to be driven into the contact name constant. I want the country return form control to be driven into the country constant. And I want the state return form control to be driven into the state constant. I will then do a similar procedure assigning the rules to the constants under the fan project. The next thing to do is to go across to the results columns tab within the child specifications list editor. The result column tab allows you to add placeholders that will store information coming from the child project. Variables in the project are passed to the child specification list control by this mechanism. Add some results columns by typing in a name and clicking on add. Now go across to the result column variables tab. The result column variables tab is where the variables in each project that can be specified from the control are matched to the result columns created. Here I will link a variable to the result columns where appropriate for each project. Click on OK when you have finished entering the information. Click on save to save the captioned information and then go down to the specification explorer task from the task explorer and let's create a new specification to test out the child specifications list. Select the toolbox project and click on OK. Fill in the form and then click on add from the child specifications list. It is possible to change the look and feel of this child specification box by adding dynamic graphics to it. Further information on how this can be done can be found on our website at www.driveworks.co.uk. You are now presented with two projects to select from, both of them being the projects that we added to the child specification editor earlier. Select the cupboard project 
and click on OK to open up this project as a child specification within the toolbox project. Fill in the form controls and then click on finish which will add it to the child specification list. You will see that the results column that we have chosen to be visible earlier has been populated with the results from the cupboard child specification. Follow a similar procedure and create a child specification for the fan. You'll see that the necessary result fields have also been populated with the results from the fan child specification. From within the child specification list, you have the options to move up, move down, edit, release, copy or delete any of the created child specifications. Continue through the remainder of the toolbox specification forms and click on finish when you have completed them. Here you will see that there have been three specifications created. The first one is the toolbox which we initially selected and then the other two are the fan and the cupboard child specifications which we created from within the toolbox specification. You will see that both reports and documents associated with the specifications are available to view for the specifications and can be viewed by double clicking on them. For more information, click on the help button at any time whilst using DriveWorks Pro. Alternatively, you can go online to www.docs.driveworkspro.com and use the online help file.